Welcome back. While many homeowners are still seeking mortgage relief, scammers are still stepping in to take full advantage and profiting off of the situation. So how can this fraud nightmare be avoided? Let's ask real estate expert and managing broker of the Edition Group, Kendra Todd Matera. Kendra, nice to see you this morning. You too, Clayton. So scams still going on, fraud still taking place. How so? It's pretty widespread and it's pretty alarming knowing that there are vultures out there that are literally preying on some of the most financially and emotionally vulnerable people in this country. I mean, isn't it enough uh, to know that you're probably going to lose your home to foreclosure? Right. And, you know, unfortunately, it, it really is widespread. I have dealt with countless people on a monthly basis. This happens where we'll get a tearful call from someone who gave thousands of dollars to someone who claimed that they could guarantee they could save that person's home and then ran off with their money. Right. And for instance, and one of the yeah. top ways that people are being scammed is that there are folks out there, people posing as official counselors in what way? Yes, there's actually four really big scams to be aware of. The first is, as you said, uh, people posing as official counselors. They'll create a company that sounds very much like the name of a government agency and nonprofit and tell you you've already been approved for a loan modification and then demand a fee. Another scam to watch out for is called a loan audit. They claim they'll have an expert review all of your mortgage documents, and if there's any inconsistencies, they'll say they can guarantee that they can get you out of the huh. Foreclosure. Now, I've seen, uh, not even just for foreclosure, but I've received, mm -hmm. you know, letters in the mail from some mortgage company that says, we want to review your mortgage and we'll help you out. Uh, we'll maybe lower your costs. Is that something to look out for? Well, uh, yes and no. Uh, the thing is, they're very sophisticated scams, and they really do seem like they're legitimate. And lenders will send you out those types of notices. The important thing is to call your lender and verify that that notice is actually coming from the mortgage holder or the mortgage servicer who you pay your mortgage payments to. Now, there's another one that's really important to watch out for, and it has to do with the attorney general settlement last year with the five largest mortgage lenders. There are people now calling homeowners and saying, congratulations, you know, you're eligible to receive money as part of this settlement. They're getting their bank account numbers and they're wiping their bank accounts out. Oh. It's just sad. Another big scam to look out for are these rent to buy schemes. You see signs on the side of the road, you know, no mm -hmm. money down, rent to buy, you can move in today. That's exactly right. Uh, I mean, people, when they go into foreclosure, they're going to be evicted from their home. That's awful. You know, they're grasping at straws, looking for any way that they can actually stay in their home, even if they can't own it. So it's really important that if a company asks you for an upfront fee, that's a red flag. The FTC actually has a law that makes it illegal for any company to take a homeowner's money uh, at any point in time before a lender is actually uh, given written notification that they've approved a loan modification or loan relief. So if they ask you for money, stay away. Kendra, where can people find you on Twitter if they have any further questions about real estate? At Kendra underscore Todd. There you go, Kendra <laughs> Todd Matera. Thanks for joining us this morning. We appreciate Thank you. it.